welcome to my YouTube video today. Woo, you guys, I'm finally going back to my book reviews and stuff like that, which I really wanted to kind of bring back to my channel. Um, I know a lot of my subscribers have actually came due to like them liking bookish kind of style stuff. So I definitely want to bring that back to my channel. Um, I'm still going to be doing unboxings. Don't worry about that. But I just really wanted to bring back like reviews and book hauls and whatnot um, here to this channel. So stay tuned for that. But anywho, I'm a little bit outwinded. I don't know why. Um, I didn't exercise or anything like that, but it just seems like I did. Um, anywho, I did want to actually start talking about this book, you guys. I had just finished it up yesterday. And you guys, ah, oh, Brenda Novak, like, she is definitely an author that I'm going to be watching out for. Um, spoiler alert, I absolutely loved this book book you want a good roller coaster ride slash romance and suspense and definitely mystery um and unexpected twists and turns and plot twists you know this is your book like I actually finished it in one sitting um it did take me probably a few hours but I did have to stop in between because I had a couple of things that I also had to do throughout that day but every time that I sat back down, I immediately went back to this book and tried to finish it. But this is Before We Were Strangers by Brenda Novak. First of all, I really do love this picture right here. I'm not sure what this probably stands for. I'm not sure if that stands for her ex-boyfriend or whatnot, or her father, or the mysterious person that might be involved in some suspicious situations in here. So I'm not quite sure who that could be. Um, but I really, really just love in general this book now this book I did actually receive it in my bookish unboxing I think uh, let me see about two two boxes ago two or three boxes ago give or take I have been getting more of the adult book in my bookish unboxings because I already get the young adult book in my Owl Crate subscription. So one thing I really loved about this book is it did come with her signature, the author's signature right here. I'm really appreciative of that. Anywho, back to this book, you guys. Oh, you guys, I don't even know how to explain it. But I am going to summarize it up without really giving you guys a full-blown spoiler because I don't want to do that. I actually want you to definitely go out and get this. I'm not sponsored or affiliated, but I just genuinely feel you really love suspense kind of mystery then this would be something that would definitely be up your alley so here's the thing Sloan is a model she actually went to New York and she met a mentor named Clyde which eventually ended up passing away earlier on in this book now when Clyde passed away it really definitely pushed her into the realization that she has to go back to her hometown Mill Creek and definitely figure out the whole thing about the disappearance of her mother because when she was five years old she still remembers like vividly the day that her mother went missing and that's the thing she doesn't know if her mother was actually murdered and and according to the dad, she actually ran away and left everyone, which was definitely hard to believe for Sloan. Um, I know her brother Randy really believes the father and says that, yeah, our mother just kind of dipped on us. Why do you want to come back and ruin my dad's life? Because the dad is actually Ed and he is the mayor of Mill Creek. So it gets a little bit complicated. Anywho, Sloan decides to defy all odds and just decide, you know what, I'm going to go back to my little town and figure things out, even if I have to kind of lay low for a little bit. So her friend, Paige, which was one of her best friends, she ended up reaching out to her and saying, hey, if you need somewhere to stay while you come back to Mill Creek and figure out your whole like living kind of thing of where you're going to stay, you can definitely stay at my place. Of course, Sloan was a little bit um, hesitant about that. The reason why it's so kind of like awkward in a way to come back into her home was because Paige ended up marrying um, Sloan's ex-boyfriend who she really really loved um, but she had to leave Mill Creek um, for various reasons and she just had to kind of get up pack up and go without telling anybody where she was going and yeah Paige kind of swooped in and took her guy well technically I guess it wouldn't be her guy anymore because she left him but yeah so that really put a little bit of damper in there now when Paige got married to Micah which that was the ex-boyfriend of Sloan and I want to say I'm saying his name right Micah Mika um I think I'm saying his name right Micah so anyway I'm gonna go by that name um but anywho Micah ended up um marrying Paige like I said and they ended up having a kid named Trevor. So Trevor right now is living with Paige because eventually after 
after throughout the years, Micah ended up divorcing Paige. But I'm just giving you guys that snippet so you guys can understand kind of the awkwardness and what's going on and what Sloan is coming back to Mill Creek and what she's basically entering in. As Sloan is coming back, she actually has one purpose and it's basically to uncover the truth about the disappearance of her mother. It's definitely a mystery, but no one really researched it. And because of course, Ed was the mayor, um, no one in the police department or anything like that questioned him or really dug deep into the disappearance of her mother. I'm not gonna say too much about what happened, but according to Sloan, she actually thinks that her father might have killed her mother. And that's what sends an array of situations going on for Sloan, basically everything against her. Um, she tried to rent out a couple units and if it wasn't like one place, another home, but she always got denied because Ed and her brother basically got involved so that they would not lease to Sloan. So she had a little bit of difficulty with that, hence why she ended up staying with Paige for a couple days, but she did end up moving out because things got really, really awkward. Now here's the thing, you guys. Paige may be her best friend, but there's something definitely off about Paige. And I'm not going to go a little bit further other than, first of all, it was already a little bit shicey that she kind of swooped in and got Sloan's ex. But on top of it, it's like Paige doesn't want to let go of Micah, even though they've already divorced. It's already been a year that they divorced when Sloan came back into the life. But yeah, so when Sloan comes back anyways, there is quite a big amount of awkwardness, especially when Micah realizes she returned. Just basically the relationship between Micah and Sloan now, and definitely how their relationship starts to develop. And what Paige does or realizes that, hey, oh my gosh, like I think they might get together. Because of their relationship, it does kind of complicate the dynamics of Paige and Sloan and I think that's where things get a little bit complicated. So since Micah and Sloan are now in the same town, it's kind of getting a little bit awkward here. Um, I know everybody in the town definitely realized that Sloan went on and became a really famous big model, but now coming back, people are questioning like, why is she back all of a sudden? Like what made her return? So people, you know, are questioning. And of course the mayor, which is her father, is starting to get a little bit nervous because he knows that Sloan does believe that he probably murdered Sloan's mom. Throughout this book, it definitely does twist and turns you guys. Not only do you have the relationship between Sloan and Micah kind of developing and changing and twisting and things are kind of like becoming a little complicated there, but you also have Paige being very bitter and trying to be a good friend, but at the same time finding it very difficult knowing that Sloan is back and knowing that Micah really still loves Sloan. So she's kind of fighting with her own demons and it may cause her to do things that she probably wouldn't have thought she would ever do in her life. And then of course you have the brother and especially the dad of Sloan who is trying to prevent her from uncovering the possibility of the truths and whatnot. And it's crazy because in the last two chapters, I don't know how this author did it, but she somehow was able to squeeze so much detail, so much juicy information into those two chapters to finally complete the book. I looked that there was only two chapters left and I'm like, what's gonna happen? Like, this isn't even like partially done. I feel like there's still so much more to do. I was over here thinking like, wait a minute, how many more chapters do I have? Oh no, like, how is this story gonna end? Like, it can't just end abruptly. Like, I need to know the details. And believe me, you guys, at the very end, you get every single detail. Things you thought might be it, may not be it, but may be it. I just don't want to spoil this book for you guys. I'm telling you guys, this is so suspenseful and just riveting. Like, this is quite a drama type of novel. Like, you want a roller coaster ride, really juicy kind of stuff, this would be it. But I do have to say, this is an adult book, so you are gonna have some, you know, kind of a little bit up there in the adult genre type of stuff in here. Not a lot, but now when I was younger, I was a teenager. I know I would read adult books and young adult books. Um, the adult books I know would be sometimes a little bit on the raunchy side, but I just love the whole plot and the storyline behind the stories that it really didn't bother me. But if it bothers you, this probably might not be it. Um, again, like I said, it's an adult book, you guys. And there is a little bits and pieces of, you know, little spicy stuff put in there, but does it revolve around it? Not really. But yeah, you guys, um, this is just my review. This is my thoughts on it. I hope I gave you guys a little bit of details as to what this book is about. 
I just definitely don't want to spoil it for you guys like the whole storyline and everything that this book really is because I'm telling you guys this one is such a good book you guys will definitely if you guys are really good um, avid readers and you guys read pretty quickly you guys will definitely finish this book in one sitting it's not gonna take you guys that long also what I loved about this book which I just figured I'd mention it here at the very end you do have questions and discussions right here so it gives you a couple of questions and thoughts to to kind of make you ponder and I thought that was really really good like for example they have one question here that says what would you do if you suspected your father had murdered your mother and it does kind of make you think so if you want something to kind of challenge you to kind of think outside the box or even to kind of in your mindset or something have like a good conversation with yourself about this book um the ending with the questions and whatnot will make you kind of like think a little further into this book um it was so good though you guys when I finished it my mom was like well what was that book about like you were so into it and I ended up telling her the whole plot and everything and she was like wow like that is interesting that was, that sounds like a really good book um so yeah so if you guys have the opportunity to get this whether it's through um an ebook or just go to your nearby library or just pick this up at your local bookstore definitely go on ahead and get this because you guys I give this seriously five stars I loved everything about it I mean first thing you must know is I'm not really a picky reader there is certain things or certain genres that I just can't seem to really fully get into it I'll read it I'll accept it I'll take it but it's not like oh my gosh wowed me this book wowed me this book is like a whole other level of a mystery book so if you guys get that opportunity definitely check this out i hope you guys actually enjoyed this review and i hope i wasn't all over the place anywho if you guys love this book review definitely give this video a like also subscribe if you want to see more content from me and click the notification button if you want to get notified every time i upload so until next time you guys toodles